some applications of this ampere circuit law and if you observe carefully this ampere circuit law is similar to gauss law which we have studied in electrostatics so there in gauss law if you want to apply gauss law we have to take a closed surface and coming to magnetostatics this ampere's law if we have to apply we have to take a closed path now based on these concepts we shall uh, move into the applications of ampere's law so there first case i will take magnetic field intensity h due to a infinitely long current carrying conductor actually from biot's law just now we have seen the expression due to the magnetic field intensity of an infinitely long current carrying conductor that is a, a special case too we have seen which we have obtained as h equal to i by 2 pi rho into a pi now we are going to get the same expression with the help of ampere's law let us see how it is suppose you take a current carrying conductor it is carrying some current i now to apply ampere's law around this current carrying conductor we have to take a closed path where this closed path is known as amperian path right now from r is into some point p on the uh, closed length let us identify the distance as some rho and at the point p let us uh, take some small length dl now recall the ampere's law that is closed line integral h dot dl equal to i so h h we can write as h pi into a pi pi the reason is magnetic field is concentric circle which is along pi axis so we can write h equal to h pi into a pi next to dl dl is the differential length and in this case the coordinate system we are following is cylindrical coordinate system because if you take infinitely long current carrying conductor the preferable coordinate system is cylindrical coordinate system and in a cylindrical coordinate system we know dl can be written as rho d pi into a pi now let us substitute these expressions of h and dl in the ampere's law equation then we get h pi into a pi dot rho d pi into a pi which is equal to i and now d pi so d pi means we have to integrate it to find the h and in integration the limits we take from 0 to 2 pi because it is a complete circle so pi equal to 0 to 2 pi limits will be taken and by simplifying this expression we are getting the same expression which we got from biot savatla special case 2 that is h equal to i by 2 pi rho into a pi this is one of the applications of ampere's circuit law taken for an infinitely long current carrying conductor the second application of ampere circuit law that is magnetic field intensity h due to an infinite sheet of current means suppose we take some infinite sheet which is carrying some current along y axis and here once again we shall see the uh, axis reference of axis system that is see this is x axis this is y axis and this is z axis now let us take some infinite sheet which is carrying some current and it is placed on xy plane suppose the current is flowing along y axis if the current is flowing along y axis due to that infinite sheet what is the expression for the magnetic field h here we have to find before going to find the expression for h first of all we have to know along what directions the magnetic field exists if the current flows along y axis so to understand this in that infinite surface sheet let us assume a small length element 
which is carrying current along y axis to that small element having some finite length let us apply 